Hi everybody, I'm Michael. I'm here today with my client, Andrea, who just also happens to be my dearest of dear friends. And we're gonna go over how she can take care of a polka dotted begonia. We're doing a patio makeover for her, but we first wanted to show you uh, this video so that you can see, and she can see, how she can take care of this plant. So Andrea, you ready to dig in? Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's grow. grow. Polka dot of begonia goes by the botanical name begonia maculata. She is a cane variety of begonia, and she is, of course, known for several things. One of them being these beautiful angel wing leaves that are this army green with these beautiful little polka dots everywhere. Just spectacular. What a wonderful houseplant. And by cane begonia versus a rex begonia, Canes grow more upright, and we'll zoom in so you can see this. These grow more upright like a little mini tree. So these are these get a little bit larger than the Rex begonia, but this plant also has a really cool feature in that on the back side, she has these beautiful, what, coppery reds, you would say? Right. Coppery red leaves. Yeah. Just, just stunning. Mm -hmm. Being a cane begonia, will tend to want a little more moisture if you're keeping her as a house plant. So we'll go into we'll go into care instructions in a minute, but I just want to go over a little bit more about the plant's characteristics. It's it's also known for these beautiful flowers. Now they're not always going to flower for you, but Andrew's going to be placing this one in more of a, a brighter light location. So she's going to have these beautiful, beautiful white to pinkish flowers that'll populate on the plant in time when she gets accustomed to her new home. So, so that's a really, really cool feature. And we'll show you a side-by-side -side so you can see, you can see a picture of the, the plant and flower. It's really just such a pretty house plant. She's adorable. Now, on character, or like, let's talk a little bit about purchasing a plant. This one here, we went to a nursery together and we'll be showing you a video on, on, on the on the uh, patio makeover, so please stay tuned to our channel for that. We'll post that because we're going to be redoing her little screened-in porch. And we picked up several plants, this being one of them. When you're looking to get a plant, you also you want to make sure that you have you know no damage to the trunks. Uh, this one was this one was the nicest of the group that we saw, uh, but she does have a little little few problems here. We have a little break in the leaf here, a little crack in the leaf here. We have a little uh, uh, poke on the uh, the leaf where the, the plant stake had poked through. That's okay, these leaves will just do their thing and over time they will they will fall fall off and then she'll have more leaves coming out. Can I just interject? Sure. Uh, I know she may have some flaws, but I love her, not despite her flaws, but because of them. And I wanna form a long-term relationship with this plant. She's a plantophile. I love it. Well, I'm very, very happy that you do. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rotate over into care instructions and show you a little plant hack that we, we recommend for this plant. So let's go on to that step. On plant care, your polka dotted begonia will want medium to high light, and that's gonna be from 500 to 1,000 or just a little bit more than 1,000 foot candles. She's definitely gonna be getting that on her, her, her screened in patio because your patio faces south by southwest, uh, but you do not want to have this plant getting full sun or, or, or three or four hours of direct sun because it can burn the leaves. So they like bright light, but not direct light. So be, be aware of that and we'll, we'll help uh, uh, place the plant so she's in a nice protected area or, or protected by some plants around her. So on watering, we talked about soil in a minute, but on watering, you wanna water these plants about every seven days. They, they like a little bit more water than some other plants because they like a little bit and they want, uh, they want to be watered well. You want to water thoroughly so the water goes through, but you don't want to gingerly just add a little bit of water. Don't throw an ice cube, other people do those things. No, you don't want to do that. You just want to water, water, her, water her well so you see water flush out the bottom and then you wait about a week. Now, let's say she's in an area that's getting a lot of light. You, you can test, and we recommend that with the two knuckle rule, where you just take your finger and you slide it down in there 
about down to two knuckles, or you can use your pinky. And if it comes back very moist, then you know you've you, you don't need to water. You can wait another day. Oh. So this plant okay. likes likes moisture more than some other plants, so it can have a little bit more and still do fine. It doesn't want to be totally totally dry. So you got you got to you got to uh, uh, make sure you you provide um, provide her with just the right Goldilocks amount of water. And now we'll rotate into soil, and that's where this comes in to help you. We we prefer a loamy mix, so you can use an indoor potting mix. Uh, we, in many of our many of our videos, we also add perlite. You don't necessarily have to do that. We like the Miracle Grow indoor potting mix because it has some perlite already. And right now, so this is this is in the container we purchased the plant. We're not going to change her out. We don't want to. You don't ever want to shock your plants out when you bring them home because they're growing in a nursery, and then you go to a new home. They have to get they have to get acclimated. So you don't want to you don't want to overdo it. So for right now, she'll be fine probably up to a year in this container. So let and me then, let me ask you this. No shocking information to be given to her. No, you have to like say it, like good morning, not right. like good morning. You have to be. Well, what pleasant. about like if a relative has gotten ill? Don't mention it. To no, her. no, they're Got sensitive. It. Got they're it. sensitive. She'll okay. weep. She weep. She weep. So yes, you kidding aside. Delicate. Kidding aside. Actually, she's not that delicate. This is kind of a tough plant. It's really cool. She's she's got delicate feelings. Ah. Plants have feelings, Andrea. Oh, of course. So for soil, we'll, and we'll also be putting these written care instructions uh, uh, after we uh, complete this uh, talk with you. So you can get a screenshot of all the things we're just saying and, and keep it for, for you. And you can also do the same, Andrea. So for soil, we like the miracle Grow indoor potting mix. We all, and this is when she, when she goes to repot, you can also add some mycorrhizal, which is this, uh, this wonderful fungi uh, food web type of uh, um, bioorganics that you can add to the base of the potting or the top of the potting mix and set the plant on it. And it helps create this wonderful environment for the root system and the root structure to, to thrive. And that makes, of course, if you have healthy roots, you're gonna have a healthy plant. So what, what um, on, on, we talked about watering now and we talked about soil as well as lighting. Let's talk about humidity. This plant likes a little bit more humidity. Mm. Now her covered patio is is, is out is is um, screened in, but it's not air conditioned, so it's going to have a little more humidity being down here in Miami. So she's going to do fine. But we also have a plant hack we want to show you, and Andrea, I'm going to need your help on that. Okay. Uh, this likes humidity. If I speak to that, it between oh, north of forty percent, and in indoor homes, you're going to have thirty-five to forty percent humidity with AC. It's a ACs are basically dehumidifiers. But she wants a little bit more. So even though she'll be outside and be getting getting more, we have this plant hack that we've been doing with our plants, especially the ones we're growing inside our home, where we take LECA clay pebbles and we put them at the bottom of the container. And we'll show you, we'll show you that um, now so you can see. And then we set her, this container, on those pebble, that gravel base. And when you, she waters the plant, this will be her saucer, but it's a decorative saucer. And, this container um, will will hide obviously the water there, but that water will will be absorbed by the LECA and it will start to offgas that pretty well, pretty pretty fast. Which LECA has a lot of surface area, and you know we do videos on that on it many of our orchids are in LECA. Delicious. Can I? It's, no, it's not a cocoa puff. You it can't, looks just like no, a cocoa puff. No, you'll, you'll chip a tooth. All right. The chip a tooth. Okay. I'm just saying. You're the expert. So if you may, here's our container. Yes. If you would, let me move her out of the way a little bit. If you would just pour some in there. The whole thing? Well, let's pour half in there and let's see how it goes. A little more, we may need to do the whole thing. I say go for it. Yeah. So, we've added this base. So, all we need to do is place her I love it. Now, you can add a little more lecker if you want to raise her up, which we'll probably do. We have some more off camera here. So that, so the, the container, this outer container is a little bit wider. So all that lecker that I was talking about, when that water goes through there, it's just going to be, it's going to absorb in there. And then it's just going to, it's just going to evaporate and come up around and add some humidity to your plant. So this is a real cool plant hack that that uh, we, we've been recommending for a while. And another cool thing about this, if you have these on your patio and it's not screened in, or you have a little, you have a, let's say you have a hole and mosquitoes do get in your screened in patio, the, the LECA will, will 
will make it very hard for mosquitoes to lay any larvae because there's not going to be enough water. It's going to be soaked up into the LECA so quickly that you're not going to have a, a water down there to, to stale, be stale or anything. So we think that's a really cool, really cool plant hack nice. that we think you should you should uh, look to do for for your plants. Now we didn't um, we didn't talk about fertilizer or pests. These this is a pretty hardy plant. It doesn't tend to get pests, but you do know that you have to be on the lookout for mealybugs and spider mites and scale. But uh, we we haven't had that. We've done a, we have an avalanche that so we've done a video on avalanche begonia, which is similar to this plant. This one is of course much more sh shockingly pretty. Now no 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 no. I'm not dissing on the beautiful avalanche, but but the polka dot is just so striking because of the dark army green leaves and these beautiful white polka dots. Just just adorable. And we really wanted to uh, tie this into this fabulous mid-century modern home she has. So that's why we're picking all these, these type of uh, plants and stuff to fit that wild, fun 50s, 60s vibe that you've, yep. you've got going in your wonderful, wonderful home here. Great. So, so for fertilizer, we talked about, um, uh, what did we talk about? 2020? No, it's a 2020. 20. You're right, but no, we, we, humidity, fertile. Oh, pests. I just finished pests. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, yes, thank you for reminding me. Okay. On fertilizer, a simple 2020 20 will do. Look at you. I read the notes. You read the notes. <laughs> so, you want to do that from April through September, and you can just add that to your watering. And the, the, the uh, begonia will spawn. Will, will spawn will respond mm. favorably. So what we're going to do now is just rotate over into the in-depth written care instructions and then we'll come back and do a quick summary at the end. We would like to thank you for joining us today. But if you have any thoughts or questions, just leave them in the comment box below and I'll make sure I get back to you. So until the next video, bye. Bye. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks.